Welcome back everyone to another episode on Fitz PSG and today we are going to be unboxing a few items. Hopefully you like what you see and if you do, you'll think about hitting the thumbs up and subscribing if you're new to the channel. And the first item we are going to take a look at is from Limited Run Games. Now if you're not familiar with them, what they do is they will give indie titles that typically only have digital releases and actual physical release. And I'll link to their website below. Now this right here I pre-ordered about three months ago and I've been waiting the whole time. This is the first ever release for a Nintendo Switch game from Limited Run Games. And it is, see if I can get it open, it is Thimbleweed Park. Now this has been out for a while on other systems digitally, but there has not been a physical release up until now for the Nintendo Switch. This is, if you, I don't know if we can see it from there, but this is the 001. This is the first ever run from Nintendo for the Nintendo Switch on limited run games. And there are only 5,000 of these ever to be made. That is why they're called Limited Run. You get to pre-order them, and if you miss them, unfortunately, they do not produce any more. It's pretty cool overall. Now, if you have not heard of Thimbleweed Park, it is in the vein of Maniac Mansion and those older point-and-click games like Monkey Island. Now, there are two detectives. They kind of look like Mulder and Scully and they are sent to this town to investigate a murder I believe that happens and you need to solve it. There's a colorful cast of characters that you run across and uh, it looks like an incredibly good game. All the reviews are really great so I'm excited to finally play this. I was gonna buy it a long time ago but when I heard that it was coming for limited run games I decided to hold off. And let's take a look to see if there's anything else inside. I'm not sure, since this is my first ever purchase from them, if they do include anything else inside, anything special. It looks as though we actually do get something a little bit more than normal. So we have, we have the actual cartridge. So it's really cool to see an indie game actually on a cartridge. It has the normal Thimbleweed Park, but it also has the Limited Run logo down in the lower right-hand corner. And in the inside is just kind of the uh, the landscape of the wilderness. I'm not sure if they're in somewhere specific. It, I don't really think it says. Maybe it's Colorado. It's kind of somewhere out west kind of is like what it looks like. And then they also do give... A little manual, which most games nowadays don't give a manual. Uh, let's see, about Thimbleweed Park. There are some controls. It does have touch controls, so they did update it to have switch controls on it. And then save and load instructions, so nothing much. Uh, but it is nice to actually kind of get a manual, which you don't see very often anymore. Very, very cool. I'm excited to finally give this a try. Now, the other item that we are going to unbox today, I figured we'd bulk them together, is I did recently purchase two God of War limited edition mini vinyl figures. Now, these are those mystery boxes where you have no idea what they're going to be. I decided to grab a heavy one and a light one to see what we can actually get inside. They are officially licensed product from PlayStation, so the quality should be pretty cool. Now, it's from a company called Kid Robot, which I don't think I've purchased anything from before. So I'm not exactly sure what they're going to look like. But there is eight in total that you can buy. So it looks like uh, they all have three, three of 24 odds that you're going to get them. So there is a Kratos. It looks like an Ice Kratos an Atreus and an Ice Atreus and then there are two of the elves or orcs I should say uh, the Witch of the Woods and then his axe so I grabbed a light one in hopes that it would be the axe and then I grabbed a heavy one hoping it might be Kratos so let's open the light one first and see what we are going to add to our collection now since this is a mystery box 
let's go ahead and open or put in the obligatory Brad Pitt what's in the box clip. I will add that in here. Uh, what's in the box? Now let's see if we can get these open. I cut open the tape and they are in a plastic bag as well. So if someone is trying to sneak a peek in stores before they buy them, it looks like you're not going to be able to. Let's cut this bad boy open. What do we got? So I did, the light one was not his axe, unfortunately. It is going to be, looks like, is that supposed to? Yes, that is Archer Atreus, and uh, it's the ice version. He, oh, they don't stand very well. That, come on, Atreus. Come on, boy. Boy. Uh, you do get a little mini bow and arrow. I don't know if you can see it from there, but kind of cool. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold them at all, but, you know, that's the thought that counts. So, we got Atreus. Good job, Atreus. Uh, now, let's go ahead and open up the heavy one. I'm going to guess from the weight and seeing that that was the light one that this is probably going to be one of the orcs overall. Oh, this one is big. This one is ginormous. Compared to that, this one is super heavy. And, yep, I was right. We did get one of the, the trolls that you, you bring down. And the reason why it is so heavy, much like Atreus having a, an item, he also has an item. And this is... The thing that Kratos actually always brings down on top of him to swing on and kill him. So that's kind of kind of cool. Now it has a rope on here. I don't know exactly how that's supposed to attach. Let's take a look. Doesn't actually show that on the box. So I'm going to just sit it with him. So we can actually sit it there. Oh god, you guys do not stand very well. So I would say overall... The quality from Kid Robot isn't that bad. I don't know what else they've made, what other collectibles they've had, but it looks like they do have a website that I can go on and take a look uh, for future reference. Um, the, these were both on sale, so I don't feel too cheated. I would say this one definitely looks really cool. The Atreus one might look more like him when he's in color, but when it's the ice version... I'd say I honestly wouldn't know who he's supposed to be if I just kind of saw him on the shelf. So a little bit disappointed in this one. They could have probably done a little bit better job with him overall, but not too bad. This guy's really cool, though. I, I'm glad that I got him as the heavy one now that, I, now that I've seen him. He's pretty awesome. So this is the haul for this video. We got Thimbleweed Park. And then we got two mystery figure unboxings. So hopefully you liked what was in the box. What's in the box? Hopefully you liked it overall. And if you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if you've ever bought anything from Limited Run Games. And if you did, what was it? Till next time, guys. I'll catch you back on the next episode of Fitz PSG.